G'day folks. I just thought I'd like to address a few questions I've had very recently. Uh, particularly Dauntless244 just reminded me to do this by asking the same question, which is why does my heat pump not perform properly or not put out as much heat when it starts getting really cold at night? And the reason why comes down to how the refrigeration circuit works. Uh, this is why a lot of countries where it ices up, like America, Canada, that sort of area, often run natural gas packages with their heat pumps. So you can have a heat pump when it's sort of cold outside, like 10 degrees or something, 12 degrees, even 18. They perform very well at 18. I'm talking Celsius, of course. Um, but once it gets down to icy cold, like negative degrees, like negative 5, negative 12 Celsius, or what is it, negative 32 or something Fahrenheit, uh, they pretty much do nothing, and that's simply because how refrigeration works. This isn't a heat pump, but it's the biggest unit I can bother dragging inside at the moment. And to explain it, uh, refrigeration basically takes heat from one place. Let's say the heat is these rubber washers, and it's inside the room. So this unit's working as a cooling air conditioner, cooling the room. So there's heat inside, it's just going to take it and put it outside. And it comes out through the condenser coil where it exchanges its heat with the air. That's why the air coming out the back is hot. Now in the heat pump that role is reversed. So this becomes your evaporator. You're basically the indoor coil of, an, of a uh, cooling only air conditioner. And this becomes your condenser. So it's trying to take heat from outside and put it inside. You do get a little bit from the compressor's motor and mechanical work and friction, that sort of thing, but not a lot. And the colder it gets outside, the less heat it's going to be able to collect until you get down to virtually nothing and all you've got is a lukewarm breeze coming off the coil and the outdoor coil has turned into a solid block of ice and like my heat pump tonight, that Fujitsu up there, it's pretty much sitting on the defrost timer every 10 or 15 minutes. Like it does not like it tonight, it is really cold. So I'll try and get a good video of that coil frozen up. It goes solid white. Um, hopefully that explains a lot of what people have been asking me why heat pumps don't like really cold nights. There isn't much you can do about it. Um, you probably rig up some second stage heating elements in front of it if you need to or just turn on a bar heater or something as well to help it out. But Really, you can't get nice, crisp, hot air coming out of a heat pump on a really icy cold night. There's just no heat outside for it to pick up and put inside. And that's all it's doing. It's just taking heat from one place and putting it in another. When it's cooling, it's taking heat through this coil, absorbing it into the refrigerant as it evaporates, and then the, refriger the heat starts coming out of the refrigerant as soon as it's compressed and elevated in pressure. So all the way through here, through the condenser, it's giving off its heat. It's getting really hot, or the metal's getting really hot, and any airflow going over it is just dumping that heat to the outside air. So hopefully you get the gist of it. Um, this is my third take on this video because even I confuse myself when I start talking about how it works. But that's basically how it works. Refrigeration is not the best for heating in extreme climates. Like when it's really, really hot, a unit will overpressure and start playing up. When it's really, really cold, a unit will also not function properly because there's no nothing to exchange. There's no heat outside well, as a heat pump. It'll work fine as a cooling air conditioner until it freezes itself into a solid block. I've even seen, I think Brad's Brad's old Rank Arena heat pump, who later, later became Dakin Industries, that heat pump's actually frozen the indoor and outdoor coil at the same time running as a heat pump. I don't even know how that's possible, but apparently it's done it. So, uh, yeah. I hope you enjoy that random piece of information, and I hope it helps somebody out in understanding why their heat pump sucks when it's really, really cold outside. And this thing's working fine now. I have to put a temperature probe on it, but that's nice and warm. It's still running nice and warm, but not for long. It's only because it's just gone into deep, just gone through defrost. Let's have a look outside. It's starting to freeze up a bit. No, it's not. Yeah, no, 
not yet. Yeah, I think that cloud cover is preventing the brutal cold that I was expecting last night or tonight. Last night this that, that thing would have been an ice block by now, but it's not doing too bad. It defrosts every hour or so at the moment. I think it was mainly because we had rain before that it got a bit of water through the coils and really froze up. But yeah, once you start getting down on really cold, clear and foggy nights, the ice build up is very quick and they just freeze solid till the defrost kicks in. Very normal. I hope that explains it all. Thanks for watching. I'm trying to get a video of this thing when it's a solid block of ice. It's quite interesting. It takes a while to defrost.